All right, we have another bag of plush. I'm gonna pull them out of the bag, show you what I got, show you how I listed it, and let's get started. The first one here is Gund, and it po puddles. I almost said poodles. Puddles, huh? He's cute. Look at that little face. All right, we'll look him up. This looks like Spirit. Yeah, Spirit Plush. DreamWorks 2019. Probably a bread and butter. You never know. Gotta look it up. Kelly Toy Llama. I have been finding a lot of llamas that are Kelly Toy. That one needs washed. I'll wash that one. Here's another one, which I would think is a Boyd's Bear. Boyd's Bear, yes. Uh, they typically have a tag on them somewhere. Well, that's odd. This one's jointed. Where's the tag? Up oh, here it is. This one is 1998. You can see it right there. And you can see the Boyd's collection. Okay. And this one has a cute little outfit on. You're really looking for the teeny, tiny, small ones. Those are the ones that typically are a bolo, but um, these make a nice bread and butter. Oh, look at this cutie. It's a monkey. He's Thai. He is, I can't read it. From 1998, so he is vintage. And he's so cute. So again, that's a bigger one. Probably a bread and butter. All right, so you push it and it sings. This is a uh, toy, so these will need uh, sanitized. If I decide to sell it, it needs cleaned up. So I may just end up donating this one. Raggedy Ann. Oh, cute, look at her little apron. She's by Applause. She is definitely vintage. It does have somebody's name on it, unfortunately. 1991 Johnny Gruel. I'll have to look that up and see. Raggedy Ann really ranges, but that little outfit is adorable. I don't know if I've ever seen that. Look at this guy. He is cool. To cut that off. He's Wild Republic. I don't know what kind of animal that is. Oh, he's got a big hole in his neck. That's what that is. I'll look him up, and if he's worth money, I can sell him as is. Nobody's going to care about that if he's a big money bolo. If not, I will just donate it and let somebody else deal with that because I don't sew. I mean, barely ever do I sew. It's got to be something I really love to sew. Um, these realistic-looking animals can do pretty well sometimes. I have no idea what this is. So that's why I'm saying if it's worth it, then I'll list it. If not, I'll just donate it. This is Ganey Suites Hotel. This is a vintage advertising bear. We have this guy. Um, he looks like, an, is that a crocodile? I don't know what that is. What is that? I'm not sure what I'll do with that. I may or may not list it. We'll see if we can figure out. There's no tag on it. Interesting. Thomas O'Brien Holiday Collection. Large Snowy Holiday Penguin. 2006. Huh. Never heard of that. Um, what's his name? I can't think of his name right now. He is from 2019, Fred Rogers Company. He's not in great condition. Uh, he has a sound box. When something seems bad, turn it around. All right, so good. we'll see on that one. He's not in great condition. I'll have to clean it up. Easter Plush Pals, $1.99. It's just a little puppy dog. So I'm planning on doing like a lot of smalls. So I may put that with that. Uh, this is a Disney. You know what? I had one of these the other day that was poo. And when I opened it up, it was a book. 
wonder if this one is a book as well. It is. Check this out. Huh, animal jokes. wonder if this is from like McDonald's or something. I'm not sure. Uh, this is a TY 1995. Again, this is a bigger one and it's a dog. So if I can figure out what kind of dog that is, that will help me look that up. See if it has any value. SpongeBob, another tie. This is a Gans. It is a Gecko Lemon Lime Webkins. Um, I don't know if I talked about it in this video, but some Webkins can go for big money. I have a video on that. Definitely search um, my eBay store, or not my eBay store, my YouTube channel for that. This is a Chelsea Teddy Bear. And looks like it retailed for 1860 something, but Pitt, maybe is that Pittsburgh? Huh, <laughs> look at this guy. Is that a hedgehog? Vibrant life. I'll probably donate that. It's not in great condition. Let's see what other goodies we have. Oh, this is cool. It's an elephant. It's definitely dirty. And it's a rattle. And it's from 2000. Now, these are the TY that I will pick up. Now, it is dirty, but I can run that through the washing machine. It's got a rattle, and it's super soft. Um, Adventure Planet. Not sure what that is. I'm really bad at identifying animals. I've figured that out. Google Lens is my friend. Tag along. Tag along. Tiny tag along, little brownie, huh? Look that up. Here's another Webkins. This one is a, I love it when it tells me, spotted seal with a spot that needs cleaned. All right. Oh, he's fun. He's got a sequin tummy. Fun Express, so just a little cheap toy, but it's a sloth and it's cute, so maybe it'll sell. Arizona, I had a couple of these and another one, Symbols, Resort Gifts. So maybe I'll lot those all up or sell them individually, we'll have to see. Here's a sock monkey, he's missing his tag. Sesame Street, who is she? She is Abby. Abby, look how cute that is. Here's another Webkins, this one is a... Googles. Googles. Is that a platypus? I don't know what that is, but it needs washed. And we have this bear right here. It is a, don't know. Whoops. Jointed bear with a cute outfit. <laughs> I'll have to do a little research on her and decide if I'm going to keep or donate. All right, let's do another bag. All right, here's bag two. We're gonna leave bag one up here. This is a Gans, and it is a Webkins, and it's a dog. And again, this one is called Chocolate Lab. This is a Funny Friends soft sculpture Jennifer Mazur. Interesting, that could be worth something maybe, I don't know. It's like got an artist. Look at this guy. He's another Webkins. He needs washed. He is by he's a lemur. Lemu lemur. Ring-tailed lemur. So I'm gonna spot clean him and then throw him in the washing machine. This one is a B and B. B and B. Never heard of that. Tortuga Chubby. Huh. It's interesting. Banana Bay. It's a turtle. It's really, you know, it feels like um, a squishmallow, kind of. Never heard of that. Here's another turtle. This one is by Tender Tales, Precious Moments. Um, Animal Adventure, Frog. How cute is that? It's so cute. It's definitely got some love. I'm probably going to that in the washing machine too. See if I can get it just to brighten up a little bit. 
Here's a TY Beanie Baby. I'm gonna make a small lot of toys. I'll probably put that in there. This one's Joanne 2020. This will probably go in that as well. This is Toy Works. Um, feels like a cheap uh, toy, like uh, that you would get at like the fair or something like that. I could be wrong. Here's a horse, a horse, of course, of course. Flip Flops, Extremely Relaxed Animals. Mary Meyer, Mary Meyer's great. And they just kind of, I can see why they're called that. They're kind of just floppy, super cute. Great Wolf Lodge, Fiesta Toys. Is that a pink fox or a dog? I'm not sure. Corduroy um, reindeer. This might be a Jack and Bones. I think this is made, yeah, a dog toy. Dog toy. Oh, look at this little kangaroo. How cute is that? Nan dog pet gear. Huh. That's a dog toy too. That is a cute dog toy. Wow. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, we've got, aww. Try me, I sing the original wild thing. I'm not gonna do that because I don't wanna get demonetized. Hopefully it works. Um, press here, I'm not gonna do it, but I don't know if there's a place to, yep, there's a battery compartment. So I can check that one and that will be listed if it works. That is cool, he is cool. All right, stay, stay. Stay wild thing. Okay, we got um, hmm, Nella the Princess Knight. I can see the tag. It says Nella on it. So that's the unicorn from Nella the Princess Knight. We have a bunny. This is by Huff and Tough. Huff and Tough. I don't know. Is that a dog toy too? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, this one says uh, La Bango Resort Beach, St. John. It's by Douglas. And the funny thing is, is I listed um, some plush the other day and I had a Bob Evans turkey. It was an advertisement. Cheap. I'm not kidding. Like when I say cheap, Bob Evans, like gift thing from when you go to Bob Evans and you can buy stuff. That thing sold so fast. I sold it for like nine bucks and plus shipping and... I think I undersold it because it sold quick. This one is 1993. It's a TY tie. The raincoat's not in great condition. I may donate this. We'll have to see. I'll look it up. This is a, is that a bison? Buffalo? Aurora. Unfortunately, it has a name here. I may be able to get that out with hairspray. Um, I'll see what it comps out at and see if it's worth it. It's on both tags, so that stinks. But um, there's that. If you love plush, say, I love plush. Here's another Mary Meyer. Um, it's another one of the flip flops and flip flop. I'm sorry, flip flop. And look, it has the original tag. How cool is that? Wow, that is really cool. So I got two of those. That one's like a... Um, what do you call it? Is it a moose? All right. 24K Polar Puff, 1987 kitty. I had a Polar Puff the other day. Here's a monkey. Uh, this one is K&M International, 1999. So a vintage monkey. Here we have a Gans Lion. Always look up the Webkins. Always look them up. Some of them are big bucks. That's the Toy Works. We already looked at that one. Here's a Webkins Fish. Cute. This is a Easter Plush Pals. I have another one of those already somewhere. Here's another one. So I may just... What I'll do is I'll take this $1.99 off because that's what it was when it sold. I'm guessing these are retired. So I'll pop that off and probably sell the three of those pups together. There was another one somewhere. I think it was in this lot. Might have been the last bag I did. 
Look how cute this is. Oh my goodness, so cute. 20th century. What's that say? Original brass button bear. And he's on this little stand. He's cute, right? Pickford Bears, 1930s Mookie. So he's supposed to look like he's from the 1930s, I guess. Okay. Here's a Lion King. This is another storybook. Again, I think these probably came from a Happy Meal toy or something. Easter Rabbits, $3.99 CVS. So, another CVS bunny. This here is St. Jude Children's Hospital. It is a Puffkins. This is the second Puffkins I've found. I don't know if that's vintage or not, but cute, right? I can look that up. Forget who this guy's from. He's from, oh, Inside Out. The elephant from Inside Out. And let's see. We have this little guy. I don't know who that is. It is a Hatchimal, Hatchimal plush. By Spin Master. And this one is Holy Bible. Huh, Holy Bears. 2000. This one might be Noah's Ark. Let's see what it says on the tag. Never seen these. Promise the Noah Bear. Huh, I'll have to look that up for sure. It's got the nice little protected tag. It's really good condition. It's got the little ark and the rainbow. How cute is that? And that is it on this bag. Whoa.